Kevin, hey, John here. I'm inside your new demo account that I created. And these are the details I'm using to create a demo project. You also will have, uh, you can create one additional project in this demo environment. Uh, again, it is a demo environment, but I mean, you can do anything you can do in content at scale normally. It's just sort of a, a sandbox play area for you to to uh, play around with and discover. So again, you can pause the video and look at these eight details, um, but I'm gonna move forward with um, creating this project. When I create the project, it takes me directly into the project and um, you'll see certain pop-ups from me actually, as you poke around in the tool for the first time, see it says, hey, you created a project, awesome. Of course, you have the benefit of me right here making a loom for you, so I'm going to, uh, collapse that that chat but um so anyway check it out here's your new project i'm going to write a post and this is as easy as it gets so from here you can you can do um you can be more advanced do some more like ninja moves but this is basically all it takes watch this so i'm going to write post inside my project i'm going to create from a keyword and that keyword is going to be what is seo very basic right very top of funnel uh keyword I'm gonna keep all these details just pretty much blank and default, so two to 3,000 words by default. And I'm just gonna hit write post now. When I do, it's gonna be like, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And I'll pause the video and show you. Um, it should take about four or six minutes, always under 10 minutes in my experience uh, to create a post for us. Let's go see what it creates for us. Okay, let's go take a look at the post. So it scored 86 directly out of AI. I have not looked at this or let alone edited it or anything like that. So it gave us a title. Let's go ahead and click on it and see what else it gave us. It gave us, of course, the content itself. I'll, I'll save that for, for a little bit later here, a couple, couple seconds here. Uh, it gave us a title. It gave us a URL slug. It gave us a meta description, all of which we can change. It, and you just got another message from me that says, hey, check out your new AI written draft. Uh, it's ready for editing. And here's how you do that. Um, so again, you can check out those messages anytime by clicking on the purple little icon in the bottom corner there. You can change the title if you want to. You can change the URL slug meta description if you want to. I mean, already you're scoring really high straight out of AI. Uh, here's some stats, a little quadrant here. 2,700 words. Typical content for this keyword is about 1,800 words. So 27 is definitely competitive. You could go down like that little red arrow says and still be competitive. Zero media, we want you to add your own media. Um, Links, you have one. A lot of people have 14 or 15, so you can add those however you see fit, like external links or um, whatever you'd like. Checklist items, 13. Here's the checklist itself right here. These items go directly, they, they directly affect the SEO score um, here. Here's some keywords and entities that you can include and that mostly have been included. Why do I say mostly? Because the AI knows for sure you want to include the ones that are green. You may, it's such a big topic, SEO. You may want to talk about also, but a lot of people don't, these other ones that are marked in red, red meaning there are zero instances of that exact phrase in this content. If there are instances, like the important ones, like search engine, right? You can click on it to reveal the instances of that phrase. So just very helpful there as you're optimizing and editing your content as it um, just came out of AI. Again, zero images, we're not counting the um, featured image, but to quickly add a featured image, you can go to media gallery. It'll automatically search Unsplash for the uh, target keyword. I'm just gonna use that one. I'm gonna use that one as our featured image there. And um, there you have it. So here's the actual content itself. So, okay, I'm just going to read it out loud. Imagine standing at a cross with visibility and obscurity online. At this junction, what is SEO? It becomes not just a question, but your compass to success. Okay, I like it. It's, you know, readable and it's human-like. Um, and it brings us down to the table of contents. As you edit, the table of contents should automatically be updated because I think that setting is toggled in your project settings. But check it out. So it gave us the H2s. It gave us, I believe, this is an H3. Let's see. Yeah, H3. Of course, the text itself, the you know, the body text. A key takeaway, because I told it to in the project settings. And I just, it's just, it's way, 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 way better than starting from a blank slate, right? I got this in like eight minutes. I mean, to me, it's still kind of crazy. And I work here and I say that often because 
it really is. It just blows me away to be able to start from this draft instead of starting from a blank page. No more waiting around for writers for, you know, a few days. And then they give you like a sort of half done draft, you know, at best. So that's if they're already a subject matter expert. Anyway, the AI went out and did the research. It's already a subject matter expert. And it gave you this draft. So anyway, um, let me know how else I can help. You can always reach out to me or my team in this little um, purple icon at the bottom corner. You can also check out our knowledge base with the button that says uh, help. Right there, you can search our whole knowledge base um, and have fun with the demo account.